Hey my friend, I hope this video finds you well. Don't you just love an LA-2A on a vocal? I'm fortunate enough to have four different versions of the LA-2A in front of me right now. I've got one from Analog Obsession, from Waves, from Black Rooster, and from Universal Audio, but having never put them head to head together, I'm never quite sure what one I think sounds best. Well, until now, because that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's dive straight in. Okay, so I've set these four LA-2As up so they've got the same amount of peak reduction and gain compensation to make this uh, test as fair as possible. Let's take a listen. No, I wish on a star with you. 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 Take a trip to the sea, my love. The wolves are closing in. Take a trip to the sea, my love. The wolves are closing in. Take a trip to the sea, my love. The wolves are closing in. Take a trip to the sea, my love. The wolves are closing in. Okay, so so far in my gut is saying that the Universal Audio is standing out in front for me in terms of smoothing out that dynamic and also bringing some fatness uh, and some colour and some very pleasing LA-2A goodness to my vocal. Um, the Black Rooster, I'm kind of not really digging right now. Um, the Analog Obsession, uh, I don't think it's doing as good a job as the Universal Audio smoothing out the vocal and it sounds certainly a little bit thinner as well. Uh, and uh, finally, I don't think the Waves is that far behind the Universal Audio LA-2A plugin. They are my thoughts right now, having just doing, done that A-B test. What are your thoughts? It'd be great to get some more sets of ears on this one. Let me know, of course, in the comments box below. And whilst you're there, why not grab a super handy free gift from me to you, a vocal EQ cheat sheet. It's super handy. Every time you're mixing vocals, just download it, stick it on your desktop. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. So whilst we've got these LA-2As out and we're A-B-ing them, let's try them out on a piece of acoustic guitar as well from the same track, see if it helps us make up our minds. Uh, once again, I'm gonna kick things off with the Universal Audio. Okay, so I've put these four LA-2As in the order that I think sounded best to me. And out in front, I would choose uh, the Universal Audio. I think it did really well on both sources. Uh, it had a really pleasing uh, tone and colour to it, but also did a great job of smoothing out um, both the vocal and the guitar. But not far behind was Waves. In fact, I think I slightly preferred the Waves on the acoustic guitar, funny enough. Um, Behind that, then La La, which uh, even though you can see, you could see in the test the the needle moving um, to the same amount of uh, gain reduction, um, it just felt like uh, La La wasn't digging in and smoothing out as much certainly uh, as the Universal Audio LA two A. And at the bottom there, the Black Rooster, um, which I just not dig in the tone and the feel of it as much um, as the other three. But I want to know what you guys think. It's just one set of ears. Um, and I want to know what you think about these uh, four LA two ways. What's your favorite one? What one do you use on a mix? And indeed, if it's not one of these four, let me know in the comments box below. What is your favorite LA two way style plugin? Hope that video was useful for you today. It certainly helped me make my mind up as to what LA2A I want to be using on future mixes. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go grab yourself that free EQ cheat sheet too. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to want to check this next one out.